Sunday's massive carbon monoxide poisoning is a cautionary tale of the threat that escalates every winter. Two people died two months ago in Carbon County, but here in Sevier County, thankfully no one had to start off the new year by losing a loved one. The last day of 2023 was a scary one for the city of Monroe. You don't want to believe something bad's happening. Everybody's like, mm, oh, that's just, you know, all coincidence. It all started with a call from the East Chapel of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, where a four-year-old with breathing problems needed an ambulance. An hour later, an adult man was also feeling sick. There's just a lot of pieces of the puzzle that all lead towards something's going on down there. Members went home feeling lethargic and suffering headaches. Clint Wyrick knew he had to call dispatch. I had a friend that just lost his best friend from to carbon monoxide. And he, a month ago, was telling me all about it. Part of that was in the back of my head, like, like just, just make the phone call. According to the LDS Church, 54 people in the building that day had symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning. 49 had to go to the hospital, and 22 of them had to go outside the area for medical care. The county didn't have enough ambulances for the necessary number of transports, so nearby agencies stepped in to get people to hyperbaric chambers. It's kind of cool living in a small town. Everybody's kind of looking out for each other. The meeting house is closed for now as investigators look into the cause. According to the CDC, over 100,000 people across the U.S. visit the ER each year because of carbon monoxide. Poisoning. Talk to other people when you don't feel good because if there's a group of you all not feeling good at the same time, like, yeah, look, look at the evidence. In a statement sent to Fox 13 News, the church says they're supporting medical and other expenses for those who were affected. A spokesperson also said they're, quote, taking this matter seriously and are concerned for the well being of everyone involved. Reporting in Sevier County, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.